Good morning. Um, I was thinking about addiction today. In the shower, I was thinking about um, the word I thought of was, or the combination of um, broken self-centeredness. Um, a friend of ours recently lost a child to addiction. And I've known countless people that have, and also have a lot of people that I know that their child or their husband or their wife is in addiction right now. And addiction sucks because it not only hurts the person that's choosing to go down that path, but everybody that's around them. I did a lot of damage to other people in my addiction, not only myself, but that broken self-centeredness is what I'm coming from, is that we have this um, insecurity, this inward focus, this isolation when you start going down that path of addiction. Starts out in experimenting and trying to numb brokenness within. Then all of a sudden you pile on guilt and shame and con self-condemnation to the point that there's no real returning. Uh, you don't see any value in your life. Um, and that's what I saw with this mother's post that I know she's an amazing mom. Um, it's a family friend of ours and uh, she was questioning herself and this post is specifically for her at, that you know we have that free will to choose the path that we're going to go down um, and we as parents try and pour into our children as much as we possibly can but in the end we all have that choice of which way we're going to go um, and Patrick Carnes is an elite, a leading addiction expert in the country, one of the best and he says that there are two things that are at the root of all addiction, which is feeling unloved and unlovable. So there's something within. I had two amazing parents, and yet I still ended up in that place because of my insecurities and brokenness from... I don't know what exactly it was, but that's the case, is that I was in that place, and I was trying to feel better about myself, so I started taking you know, drugs and drinking and using women and doing everything I could to fill that void within me. And it never did. It just kept getting worse and worse. Um, but, you know, Rich Mullen says our only hope is the love of God. And that's where I believe people can find freedom. Because we weren't created to live a life centered in self. We were created to be in union with Him and to be able to love Him and to be able to love others. When people in addiction, what I've seen over the years is people that understand that they have value that they never saw before. Now they get the fact that they're created, created for something more than just living a life centered in self. Now all of a sudden their life opens up and they're able to walk in a newness of life. You know, it says in scripture that I'm able to put off the old and put on the new. It gives them hope for something greater than what they've been settling for. And then the entire family unit can be healed in that, you know, and, and, but we have to choose. I've had countless people that everything is there. They have a loving family. They have everybody else trying to guide them into a recovery program. And yet they chose not to. The reality of it is, is that we all have that choice within to choose the path that we're going to go down. We have brokenness, but we have to make that decision that, man, for me, it was in a bathroom mirror saying, God, help me. I can't stand the man I'm seeing in that mirror, and I'm going to trust you, God, with my entire life. I don't know what that's going to look like, but I'm going to trust you. I'm not going to incorporate Jesus into my life for a better day. I'm going to submit my life to God and see what happens. And freedom happens. You know, Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's freedom. So it's trusting God and you know, as Rich Mullen said, our only hope is in the love of God. And that's what I've seen. Countless lives being transformed by the goodness, grace, and mercy of God. And families healed because they made that choice of, you know, God help me. I need help. Um, foundations of the AA uh, are rooted in the love of God. People coming to the end of themselves and walking in a new way. Um, it's good stuff, and my heart goes out to the, the family that lost their child. and uh, Just don't carry the weight of their choices. That's, that's my point at the root of it. Don't carry the weight of somebody else's free will choice. Because you're an amazing person. God bless you.